Aloha, this is Tim here. I'm here for a video showing you how you can use Final Cut Pro 10 as an audio editing tool, tool in creating audio content alone. So say uh, the, the reason for this is say you're a podcaster and you do a lot of video podcasts, but say you do a couple audio podcasts or say you do a lot of audio podcasts, it doesn't matter. Either way, I'm gonna show you why Final Cut Pro 10 is actually a pretty sweet solution for those just working with audio and producing audio shows. So there's things like Logic out there, but why change tools when this tool works great? So here's Final Cut Pro 10. I've got a project open that I've already done. This was a quick uh, announcement episode of iWick again. So opening the show here, you can see I've got some, this is some music here. And I've got, and I then move it over to here um, for music. Uh, but you're able to have, as you can see, multiple lines of different things going on. And then I've got my main, this is my main, you know, line of audio. And then I've got ancillary audio up here. So the, the cool thing is with this, it's very easy and perhaps easier to just drag and drop audio when and where you need it. And the cool thing is uh, if you're doing an uh, audio show uh, in Final Cut, you can just add some, you know, lower thirds onto audio and it goes over black, and then you've got a video. So if you're doing an audio podcast and you're working with Final Cut Pro 10 a lot um, for video work, just stay in there for audio because you can do a lot of cool stuff in there. And the cool thing is you can turn it into a video really easily for distribution on YouTube. So a lot of benefits to working with Final Cut Pro 10 for audio work, which is kind of cool. And the other cool thing is you're able to do all sorts of customized outputs from Falco 10 if you have compressor. So you can use compressor to set up these special um, outputs. So you can have AAC, you can have MP3, you can set up however you want, and it does a really good job with that. So I'm launching up compressor now to show you that, but right now I've got built into compressor uh, these different options. So I've got these settings here. I've got two settings. I've got iWake uh, MP3. This is where I have the MP3 set for how I want it to be outputted. And the cool thing is Final Cut and Compressor work with just audio. You don't need to do video work too. Um, then another one I have is for Levelator. So say I've got some audio that I haven't run through Levelator. I can actually use this output to get it ready for Levelator, send it out as an AIFF, and it's often ready to go for Levelator. So you can do all sorts of cool workflows with Final Cut and Compressor. As it's as just a killer combination for, for what you're doing. So here's Compressor here. And here's some different settings I've got. So for settings, uh, they have built into the app, uh, the compressor app, some audio ones. So here's AAC for podcasting, MP3 for podcasting. You can duplicate that and edit it however you want. So here you can see I've got the ability to change it. I can change its name, change what it does, things like that. I can, uh, let me get into the one I'm actually working with. So here's iWake. So here I can change its name. I can change its file format to whatever I really want there. I can change its bitrate. And it's much more modular than even GarageBand would be. I'm able to go in here and um, uh, even adjust to different uh, filter type things, dynamic range, peak limiters, fading in and out. So you can do all these advanced things that you're not going to be able to do in GarageBand. You're even able to set default destination for, say you have a folder for your podcast that all your mp3 is going you can have that for that special output for your podcast so with compressor i think final cut is a killer combination for those doing audio work and this is just a first glimpse on how i'm using it i'll go into further depth in future videos so i hope you've enjoyed this initial look on how you can be using final cut pro 10 for audio only podcasts so there you go if you enjoyed this video i'll be back for more aloha